So in our discussion of arrays, we're looking at the basic array structure, which is up the top here. And we're talking about the different parts of that. So just to recap, I'll delete that line out. When we pick the name of the array, which is the first part, my array, we always start with A. A represents an array. I, integer. N, number. S, string. D, date. So we're still using the Hungarian notation, which is up on the wall. So we we'll always try to use, or it was up on the wall. We'll have to put it back up there. We'll always try to use those set prefix. So when we look at a variable name and it's got A, students, we know, oh, it's an array structure. So we're going to have to index that array. So my array always start with name. You always then have the description, in this case, dice face. And you always make arrays plural because there's going to be multiple of them. It is then of type array. But with an array structure, an array structure is actually a class. What do I mean by that? Well, the, in programming terms, we can only open up one memory space. And we can only store one thing in there. So to actually have this structure where we can have all these little pigeonholes and then to be able to sort them and pop them and push them, we have to be able to manage those individual boxes. So it's actually managed by a class called arrays. So some programmer has gone and written a class which is called arrays. And what it does, it actually allocates memory dyma dynamically as you need them. And you have to use what are called pointers to control where you are in the array and things like that. You don't need to understand how an array actually works at the moment and how it actually allocates out. You probably, if you go to uni, you'll have to build one. I know I did when I was at uni. We had to build an array. So you'll probably do the same sort of thing. But it is a class. And that's why we go new and then we go array. So... A dice faces is an array, and it's of a type of a new array. So this is a version of the array, and it's a new version of that. So what we've got is A dice faces, and it's an array, it's of new arrays. So what we want to be able to do is open up the memory area and say, well, how many spaces are there going to be? Okay, so let's go six at the moment. Now, I want to populate that array. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use a for do loop. So to use a for do loop, I need a variable. So var, I'm going to use i, and it's going to be an integer. Okay, let's straighten the code up. So it's an integer. So I want to run a for do loop for bracket i equals one. So start in the first position. While i is less than and equal to six, I want to do something. And I want to increment i++. plus plus. I want to go up by 1. What do I want to do? Well, actually, I want to take a dice faces. And in i dice faces bracket, or square bracket, i square bracket. So a dice face i. So it should be 1. This will keep going to i is less than or equal to 6, so when that turns 7 it stops. And every time it goes up in the position, so the first time through 1, in position 1 I want it to put i. So in a way, this now should count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's going to loop 6 times. And I want to trace bracket a dice faces. So this should then result out all the information at the end. I'm still getting an error, and I don't know why, by the sounds of it. We'll find out in a second. No, it worked. One, two, three, four, five, six. Notice the first part is blank. Notice that little part down here shows no um, number in the position zero. Now, the reason for that is because when you go trace a dice faces, it dumps the whole array. I didn't use position 0 because I start at 1. If I set um, i to 0 and run the program, 
I get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's using that first index position. If I, so I don't want to use the position, I just want to use the first one. So it goes 1 to 6. Using the for do loop to traverse the array, to move that pointer through the array, it's traversing the array. In my output, when I just go trace a dice faces, I'm dumping the array. I'm just going, give me the whole contents of it. If I'd like to traverse the array, then I'll need to use the for do loop again. And I can actually use the same for do loop and recycle the variables. But this time, I'm going to trace bracket dice faces i. So this should give me a list. In this trace here, it just dumps the array linearly across the, the way. Because I'm outputting individual dice faces, it should actually give me the list going down. Also, I'm tracing 1 through to 6. So let's have a look at the output. You gotta remember to close the Swift file, otherwise it runs the same program again. So the first one just traces um, a dice faces and dumps the array. The second one I traverse the array, which gives me one, two, three, four, five, six. What's more efficient? Well, in this case, because we're not using position zero, you really should use the traversing method. So it's a little bit quicker, and it just gives out the information that we want. So even though you use uh, trace dice faces. In the background, there really is a little program like this that runs to dump it all, but it'll be from i starting at zero to length. All right, so now what I've got is a program that runs. I can talk to the array and put things in. I can talk to the array and get things out. So in a way, this is input. So that's input to an array. Um, this is the term where I said uh, dump an array. Traverse an array. Okay. If I wanted to, I can actually go i equals i equals i plus 2. And when I run the program now, I get 135. Just command enter. So I can traverse the array, I can go up. If I want to reverse the array and count down, I can actually say, well, i equals 6, y i is greater than or equal to 1, i equals i minus 1. Oh, I messed that up somewhere. Just check what's happening. I equals 6, while I is greater than or equal to 1. So I go 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So I've used the for do loop now to traverse the array backwards. So I've actually swapped the symbols around to make it go count down rather than up. So traversing an array is a much better way of getting the information in and out rather than just dumping the array.